Good morning, everyone. From rainy, chilly Tomball, Texas. I knew there was a reason I upgraded and purchased a weather-sealed camera body and lens. Because I can't take a month off. We're breaking records here in Texas for rain. It may rain every day for the next week, but it won't rain all day. Yeah. In fact, a little fun fact for you. I know Seattle, Washington, where I'm from, uh, is well known for crazy amounts of rain. According to the Weather Channel, Seattle averages 38 inches of rain per year. What do you think Houston averages per year? Houston, Texas, 53 inches of rain. It rains much more here in Texas than it does in rainy Seattle, Washington. That is an absolute fact that not too many people pay attention to. <laughs> what the heck is that? You know, it looks like a strange, happy joint, doesn't it? I think he's supposed to be holding a pizza, though. I think this is a happy, hanky pizza guy. I don't know. I'm just as confused as you. What do you think? Are we on the existing grounds of an old pizza joint here? Actually, I just said it and I realized it. It's a pizza joint. It is, literally, but it has since burned down or something. So you guys stay warm and dry there wherever you're at. And uh, you're going to come along with me as we go hit the Gulf today officially here in rainy Texas. Yeah. By the way, I do have some really nice rain gear and some boots. So if I need all that later, I've got it in the RV. Don't need it right this second, though. It's a railroad town, hence this cute little red caboose out front here in their city park. Again, we're in Tomball, Texas, originally named Peck, Texas, but renamed Tomball. Here is the original train station here in Tomball. There's your waiting room. They kept it really nice and modernly updated to a point here. But you may have heard of a man named Thomas Ball from the railroad. Of course, right? Thomas Ball helped bring the railroad to Peck, Texas. Therefore, they renamed this town Tom Ball. Tom Ball. And here you have a, a statue of Mr. Thomas Ball, along with his dog, the railroad dog. Guess his name. It's Spike, of course. Who's a good woofer? Who needs chin scratches? Mr. Spike needs the chin scratches. Eric, people are starting to stare. Anyway, thanks for uh, getting the railroad in here, buddy. Appreciate it. Stay wet. Let's put on some miles now. We're going this way in Texas. This way. What do you think you're doing? Do you have something you want to tell everybody? Do you want to admit what you just did? You don't want to talk about it, huh? Jax, you were bad. It's been a long time, buddy. Jax helped himself to one of my camera cords while we were just outside. That is fresh right there. He must have got bored, um, so we're just not going to keep that plugged in in case. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't look good right there. Um, I hope that you got it out of your system for the day. You think you think we're good for biting cords and stuff? Cool, man. All right, how you doing, Jax? Your tiny little head is kind of sticking out in part of the screen. Uh, and when this other camera dies, I don't have a way to charge it, so. Uh, I actually don't have one of those cords. It's not micro USB, it's the older style. A little thicker, chunkier. You, I, I don't even know what you call it. Can't find them at Walmart. Gonna have to just buy a 20 pack, Jack? So I have to buy a 20 pack from China? Probably. Yeah. So, we'll get on the road. I'm gonna avoid the inner city of Houston. I've already filmed some Houston stuff before, so I don't need to drive through in my RV just to impress everybody. Uh, but we'll, we'll avoid it. And uh, go look for some beach. Some Gulf Beach. That's the plan. Yeah. Now we are in the land of cheap gas in Texas. I'll tell you what, there was a sign back there for a pilot, $1.84, $1.84 a gallon. And plus I get my five cent discount, which would have brought it down to $1.79 a gallon. However, 
like five miles before the pilot was a sign for Bucky's farther up. And uh, I never miss an opportunity to stop at a Texas Bucky's. So that's where we're going in a couple miles here. I don't even know what the price is going to be, but it's always worth it going to Bucky's. Here we go, the Texas sized travel center. These are all gas pumps, folks. <laughs> you've never experienced it in person and you're traveling in Texas, highly recommend you, you make a stop at a Bucky's. It's fun. They don't advertise their gas price, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up to the pump and find out. It's not advertised. But you don't come here for the gas, like the cheapest gas price. You come here for the Bucky's experience inside and the bathrooms. Get that nice El Camino. Getting all dirty out here in Texas rain, though. I counted the gas pumps here at the uh, Baytown, Texas Bucky's. 120 gas pumps here. Check the price. 190 a gallon for regular. That's still not bad. And 243 for diesel. All things considered, that's still a fantastic price. So I'm gonna fill up Miranda here, and then I'll grab my iPhone. It's a little less. It's a little more discreet and I'll take you inside, we'll get some, get some coffee at least. All right, this is iPhone video by the way, but I get to go finally refill my Bucky's cup at a Bucky's. It's been a while, man. Hey Bucky, how you doing? You can go get some of your delicious coffee in there. Mm -hmm. It's a gas station that sells everything, even barbecue grills. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, food store. It's kind of funny to me. <laughs> He's got everything in here. Uh -huh. Soft drinks are 59 cents for a medium. 79 cents for an extra large. And they're making fresh meat in here. Yep. Hmm. Oh man, look at those. Looks delicious. Nobody would like that. And a fresh deli that'll make anything you want. You just make your order right here on this screen and they'll make it. And the whole back of the store is all Bucky's merchandise. Type of stuff you might find it, like a Cracker Barrel, except a lot more of it and Bucky's related. It's funny. The other reason why I brought the phone instead of the big camera is because I wanted to show the bathrooms. I know that doesn't sound very interesting, but again, if you've never seen a Bucky's restroom, we'll go check it out, see how busy it is in there. See, it says world famous restrooms. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> just goes forever. Unlimited. Okay, enough filming in the restaurant. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, they got sweet tea and unsweetened tea, all kinds of hot chocolate and stuff. They got their house blend, fresh ground coffee, and I'm gonna go with the uh, dark roast here. Oh, in my murph. Are you not impressed, Bucky's? Yeah. All right, so we bypassed Houston, essentially. We still hit Houston traffic, <laughs> but we basically bypassed Houston, which is a good thing. And now I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna watch my tail swing as I turn right so I don't hit the pump. I gotta get out even farther. Still can't turn, thank you for waiting, and now I can turn. I appreciate it, A1 Fire. He understands the RV tail swing thing. Gonna go down to the, the uh, beach, the Gulf of Mexico side. Uh, kind of between Galveston and Corpus Christi area. And the reason why is because on freecampsites.net, it talks about a stretch of beach where you can boondock on the beach, but not on the sand. You get to boondock right off the highway, like the beach road. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I figure it's worth a shot. So I got some driving to do, about an hour more, um, and the rain will be on and off. So thanks for the blinker. So I'll just drive and let you know when we get close and show you what it looks like when we get there, okay? See, there's not gonna be much to see for a little bit. It's just gonna be rainy. Now, uh, we've been going straight south for about 50 miles. I mean, as south, as perfectly due south as you can possibly go. We're gonna go up this overpass over one last little bit of fresh water here. And then, off in the distance, get to the top here, might be able to see that. No, I don't see it yet. Well, anyway, it's getting hazier and foggier 
and I can smell the salt in the air. Just uh, three miles ahead, there's no more road. We will hit the Gulf of Mexico, salt water. And uh, that's my target area. Don't really know what to expect when we get there. I wish you could smell the salt in the air. It's so refreshing. Got some uh, oil rigs off to our right. Pumping that oil. Local oil, that's why we can get gas for so cheap. Hey, wait, I'm gonna turn right here because it says picnic area and we're on a Texas highway. So this is an approved spot to overnight park. We're still two miles from the Gulf, but definitely just want to peek at this. Am I going to hit those branches? On the left side, yeah. Yikes. These are, these are really great, you know? So as a backup option, you can park and remain in your vehicle for 24 hours here at this little spot which doesn't have a view of anything nice here in the winter, but still. Uh, actually, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna pin it so that if I ever wanna come back and use this spot or if I don't like when we get to the, the Gulf. All right, pinned. And I would just park in the grass here probably is what I would do. And a little picnic table there. No other facilities, just a, just a garbage can. But yeah, let's go back out here now. Welcome to High Island, established 1837. Okay, got some construction going on here, but we have hit the end. We're gonna swerve to the right because <laughs> there's the Gulf of Mexico right there. Pretty cool. Well, I can see some waves out there and there's an RV right there with a, a pretty good idea to boondock. I like that idea. I'm going to go park right next to that RV, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go camp right next to him. <laughs> no, I'm not like that. Everybody else is like that. I don't do that. I just love the look of the waves. Now, if it were a nice day right now, can you even imagine what this would look like with blue skies and white sandy beaches and everything on a day like today? Uh, we, have, we have hit the spot where Free Campsite says you can park for the next three miles on the Gulf side. I don't see anywhere to park over off to our left. It also looks like it's been recently paved, so they may have made some changes. Right there, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip one. I am gonna flip one. Hang on, I'll get back to you. Oh, you know what? That black top, it has a major edge to it. Don't mind me, I'm just, Driving a 32-foot RV, making a U-turn on a tiny road. Using my camera so I don't go off the road. I mean, see, essentially... Yeah, see that? There's just too much of an edge right here. And you can't park here. I mean, they're going 55 miles an hour. But there's still nobody behind me. Okay, I see some tire prints. Is that soft sand? No, I think we're okay. I'm gonna go down. Bump. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think this will work. I think I can even get level. Watch this. I don't think you can, Eric. I think I can. Uh, right there. No, nope, a little farther to the right, to the left. Wait, are we level? Feels level. I think right here. Wow, guys. <laughs> Oh man, I am 10 feet from the Gulf of Mexico. It's not as pretty as, say, Panama City side of this, but still. And a couple other things to point out is that we're going to have some highway noise. But combine the highway noise with ocean noise. It's fine for me. It's not for everybody. It is fine for me. I've got cellular service here for Verizon and AT&T, so, um, you know, and what I'm parked in is like a shell mix, like rocks and shell. I mean, it's kind of soft. I don't think you can really get stuck in it, but you can definitely see that it, it gives a little bit with the weight of, of the RV, as you can see my tire tracks. As the uh, rain hits overnight and stuff, it could change out here. 
three o'clock. That means it's uh, time to eat, my first meal of the day. So I'm gonna go inside. Maybe I'll come back out later if it's if it's nicer. Yeah. What do you think, Jax? It's been a while since we've had a view like this outside our door, huh? It's been a long time. Gosh, it's just gorgeous. Does Jax man need any kibbles? He needs some kibble. How many? Two or three? How how, how many kibbles, Jax? No, you just want to look? Okay, man. I want to look too. I, I really do. I'm uh, adding some bacon to my morning routine with eggs. Need a little bit of saturated fat in my diet, apparently, so I'm um, making off of a bunch of bacon here, and then I'll put it in the fridge, microwave up one or two pieces every morning with my scrambled eggs now. That's the plan. I got satellite TV, so I'm watching some NASCAR, and I'm keeping an eye on the water out here. I know some people may be a little uneasy, you know, because this is a tidal coast here that comes in and out. We got a little bit of a, a jetty here, concrete jetty, but, you know, you can find all the information you need on tides online. Just enter in your, your city, say, you know, tides, it'll tell you the timetables high and low, and I've spent a lot of time out here at the Texas Gulf. Not this area, but I know all about it. Uh, there's no reason to freak out. Yes, it's going to come in and go out several times throughout each day, but uh, I'm not paranoid, not scared. All right, bacon's done. It is still raining, actually. It's picking up a little bit more as I step outside. But just check the website, and uh, we are at high tide in about four minutes here at 5.50-something. So that's a good thing. That way I go to bed tonight, and at, like, 12.30 in the morning is, is low tide out there. I'd rather have the high tide when I'm awake. But you can see there's really nothing to worry about unless it's a super high tide. Could it jump this barrier and splash? Yeah not going to be that big a deal and uh, otherwise going to be doing most of my activities uh, indoors tonight finish up this uh, NASCAR race on a delay keep an eye on the water and uh, yeah oh windy and moist windy and moist out here yeah but the other thing is surprisingly there's a lot of gnats or maybe they're not gnats, maybe they're just tiny little ocean bugs or something, and they're sticking to the outside of the screen right here. It's just kind of really high humidity, 86% humidity right now, so I'm trying to keep the windows open, plus I've been cooking. I don't have to do chicken tonight, because we just did chicken at Bob's house a couple days ago, but I do got to steam some, some carrots for my weekly meals. Otherwise, the chicken's already done. Let's see, bacon's done. Yeah. And then I just got to do my workout. I am obviously late because of the weather. Ugh. I'll uh, tune back in later, though. Well, good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I slept really well. The uh, traffic noise didn't bother me too much. You know, even overnight, you're still having a truck or a car go by once, once every 10 minutes or so. And yeah, you know what? It, it's funny that certain things bother me and other things don't. As long as I'm near the ocean, I seem to be okay. And we're still about two hours from the lowest tide, so you can see how much more beach is available now. And uh, it's it's still going out. So I uh, didn't have any problems. I still don't know if it's 100% approved to camp here, but it worked for me. So you'll be seeing some GPS coordinates right here of exactly where I parked just take into consideration that this is not an endorsement. I'm not proving that you can do it. It's just, uh, it may work for you too. So. I did get a dense fog warning this morning when I woke up. So I don't know if you can see how hazy and foggy it is. If I go back to this side, even back here towards the mainland, very, very foggy this morning. But anyways, just wanted to come out here and say goodbye before the rain starts again this morning. Hopefully, hopefully I can escape the rain eventually somewhere in Texas, but uh, no, we are on day nine of straight rain every single day, and at least four more days now of rain. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. You guys take care. Jackson, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Also, real quick, there is a secret private video in the video description below for my weight loss video. You can click on that and you can see the results, or I'll just tell you right now, last week I weighed in at 185.2, this week, 
183.2, an exact loss of two pounds. And only 2.8 pounds to go to hit my 30 pounds lost in 90 days before I even reach the 60 day mark.